Morning guys. Hey, it's Len here from Mercury Man Garage. It's another beautiful day here in Michigan. Kind of humid, kind of sticky, but cloudy and there's a little breeze, so it's not terrible working out here today. But anyway, today we're going to talk about what you guys do for like side jobs and side hustles to help offset the cost for things like that. And things like that. And of course, things like that. Now, as you guys know, I like cars and I like everything car related. Doesn't matter the brand, whatever, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Mercury, but it all costs money. You guys know that. So I'm trying to come up with ways of offsetting the costs of these vehicles I have because they're not going anywhere. <laughs> They're mine for a while and you know, they cost money. So I've been coming up with ways to kind of fund that, I guess you'd say. And I thought I'd do a little video on what I do and some of the ways I offset those costs. And it's definitely, it's not gonna pay for everything but it's something that can maybe pay for gas money or an oil change or a set of tires or something. But as you know, I got this tractor and I'm thinking, well, how can I put that to use for like doing side jobs and whatnot? Well, I got a brush hog, I got a rototiller and I got a mower deck and hey, you know, I got a trailer. I can trailer the uh, tractor to side jobs and whatnot. And so I've been doing some of that and that's been helping, doing some side jobs and whatnot, but it's, it's not enough. So me and my, my brilliance, yeah, brilliance, came up with another idea and so far so good. Let me show you what I got. Well, there it is, my retirement fund. <laughs> no, not hardly, but I got a log splitter. And I think I touched on this before, previous videos, but what I'm doing is I'm doing bundle firewood. Now, definitely not gonna get rich off this, and it is a lot of work, but I got access to quite a bit of wood I live kind of out in the country where there's woods and have some connections for wood. So that's not a problem. Um, just basically I've been splitting the wood really small, um, bundling it up and offering it for sale on Marketplace and various other avenues. And I've had pretty good success. Um, one thing I do is I also offer delivery which bundle firewood people in my area, I, I don't see that. And that seems to be working out well for me. Plus I also am not charging much. So I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty cheap and I offer delivery. I mean, what more could you ask for? But like I said, this is not gonna pay for a new car or a total restoration of anything, but it's gonna offset s some of the costs um, yeah, you got a little cost of the, the splitter and the gas and, you know, stuff like that. But it's fun. For me, this is fun. It's good exercise, and I like doing that. I had a chainsaw. Um, all that stuff I had already. I had the tractor. I just needed a splitter and a way to bundle the wood. And I kind of came up with a contraption to do that. And um, it seems to be working out. But let me show you how this thing works.
Now, one thing I, I only split is cherry and oak. That's, that's kind of the two I'm, I'm using right now. It seems to be great burning firewood. And it also is good in uh, like smokers and um, things like that. Pizza ovens, rocket stoves, people like to use it in those sort of things. So that's kind of my target audience or customer, I guess you'd say, is people that have these, you know, these little patios, fireplaces, the solo stoves, the brios, and, you know, um, housing divisions that, you know, maybe don't have access to, to wood, obviously, but they want to have a campfire out back on their patio. And that's kind of my target customer base. And... So far, so good. I've been, um, had pretty good set success in that area. Uh, all my customers have been pleased with, with my product. It's not the prettiest wood. Um, <laughs> I watch a lot of these outdoor channels that seem to really stress, you know, great looking bundles and you know, pleasing to the eye and things like that. And I get it. I get that. You know, that obviously may be a, a good selling point to some people. If it looks better, it's probably better. But in my experience, it doesn't matter what the wood looks like. <laughs> it's, it's how it burns. And oak is going to burn no matter how it looks. And it's just got to be seasoned. That's the, the biggest thing is... Is it has to be seasoned or you're gonna get a lot of smoke and it's just not gonna burn. So that's what I try for is, like this wood I'm cutting right now and splitting, this is this is green. So this this won't be ready this year anymore. It'll have to be, have to sit for a while. Maybe next year, as, as thin as I'm splitting it, it'll probably be, be ready next year. But yeah, this stuff takes a long time to season. Cherry, is not it doesn't take as long so that's um that's a, the benefit of a of cherry is i could probably split up some cherry and it might be ready this this fall or this winter but especially if i'm doing it this small but oak is not going to be ready till next year Again, guys, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. That's not going to happen. Not unless you've got some major, like, forestry equipment and numerous people that can help. I'm a one-man show here. This is, this is just me. So, I'm not expecting to get rich. I'm just looking for something to supplement, you know, my, my expenses for my cars. Um, and to supplement my expenses for this, because this is gonna take some money as well. I'm already looking into upgrading my splitter to a vertical style splitter that I can get a lot more done with, and it's a lot easier, no bending, no stooping. Um, also, I've got a bundler on order. It's called an Amish bundler. It's made right here in Michigan, so that's cool. And should be getting that within a couple of weeks. It's a crank style bundler that just makes life so much easier with bundling and so much quicker than my redneck version of it right now <laughs> but just things like that you know just something to make a little spending money on for you know my hobbies and that's the bottom line is um for everyone really you know if you got a hobby you know how do you fund it what do you do um whether it be boating or golfing or fishing, any outdoor activity, indoor activity even, painting, artwork, you know, things like that. Everything costs money. And in this day and age, you know how things are. Nothing's going to get cheaper. It's, it's just how it is. So you got to figure out ways on your own to... You know, fun your your fun stuff, camping, whatever it is. So that's that's kind of my gist of this video. You know, for me, it's it's, it's doing this bundle firewood to fund my 
my cars and my my yard and to put money back into the bundling business. Now, what do you guys? What's your hobbies? You know, tuning into this channel, I'm sure it's something to do with cars. If if, if that's the case, then you know, what are you guys? What are you guys doing to to help offset the cost? Because, like I said, nothing's getting cheaper, and it's just going to go up. So, you know, let's get out there, guys. Let's get outside. Let's do something. Let's figure it out on our own as men. Um, take care of our families. And, you know, it's good exercise, too. I get out here and I do a little of this a couple hours a day, weather permitting. And, you know, it's beautiful out here. It's, you know, I'm blessed that I have the property to be able to do this. God has blessed me richly, me and my family, to be able to do this. And I'm thankful every day for him and his, his blessings that has been bestowed upon me. And I'll never forget that. So I like to get out and enjoy God's creation, God's country. And one way of doing that is just is doing this. So hopefully you guys can find something to do as well outdoors and you know maybe make a little money on the side mowing grass you know something as simple as that is trust me there's a lot of people out there that need their yard mode that just can't do it so if you're willing and able let's get out there we're blessed with good health let's get out there and help the others that are less fortunate and you know, give back. That's that's kind of what I'm trying to do. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm maybe not I'm not giving this firewood away. Which, if someone in need, yes, I'll definitely do that. But I'm not selling this stuff for a lot of money. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of work here for very little reward, and other than you know my own personal satisfaction, and yeah, I'm making a little bit on the side. I actually did have a campground contact me that wanted a hundred bundles and I sold them for four bucks each you know it's 12 to 15 pieces of wood at four bucks a piece that's that's cheap <laughs> and I'm more than happy to to help out in that way and you know it's it's just good business too I think just starting out to start out kind of low and um, you know try to build a customer base but the main thing here is just get outside guys if you're able get outside and do something um, it's just very rewarding work it's very satisfying and um, it's just it's just nice to be outside and enjoy God's creation All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. It's starting to get very hot. The wind went down, humidity came up, and I'm dying out here. Eventually, we're going to be working in the shade. We're going to move this wood yard to a shady area in the back part of my property, build a woodshed, and that'll take care of the sun issues, I hope. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video on side income and what I do for extra income for my hobbies namely my cars and things like that let me know in the comments what you guys do if you have um, side incomes for your hobbies what are your hobbies um, just let me know what your extra income may be if you even have that but it'd be nice to hear what you guys do but anyway please subscribe please like leave a comment like I said and have a good one guys